continue to work on uh, the armor. So I'm going to move around to the back and I'm going to select all the polygons near the top of my line like we did to the front. So, you know, you can kind of get centered on it and zoom in and select all the polygons near the top uh, of that line. As soon as you have it broke away, you just select delete again, uh, just like I deleted the polygons in the front. And now I want to delete the top half because I don't need anything from up there. So I'm going to select that. I move around to the front, select this, and I push delete. Now let's say that uh, you wanted to use symmetry so that one side of the object is identical to the opposite side. What you're going to have to do is uh, do some quick modifications here to this so we can uh, mirror one half to the other half. First we have to cut off one half and then mirror it. So the first thing you want to do at this point is you want to go ahead you know select uh, you can just select the object right click it convert it to an editable poly that'll reset it and then after you reset it we need to make sure that the hierarchy is set correctly so first thing we're going to do is we're going to hierarchy we're going to affect the pivot only we're going to zoom out now you notice the pivots way over here best way to move this thing you know you you'd select it and then you'd right click and you'd select move you'd go down here and you just say you want it on zero 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 and just set all three of those to zero so this pivot is right in the middle all right then you can deselect effect pivot only go back over here to the modify pane and we're going to go ahead and zoom over here and we're going to cut this sucker in half and then delete half of it so first thing we want to do is go ahead and select the element i'm going to select the front go around click control select the back and we're going to go over here I'm going to remove my saw selection drop this window down and I'm going to select um, slice plane now we have our little box the little yellow box where we're going to rotate that box uh, if we need to check which uh, perspective you know which window you're in you don't remember which three of these numbers to move you would just select the one that you want to move it on move it look it says that the numbers in the Z area are changing. So I hit Control Z, put it back where it was, then go to Z and type in 90 and press Enter. Now it's right down the middle. So now if I cut it, it's going to cut it right down the middle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select Slice. Now I cut it. I'm going to deselect the slice. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to click Select so I make sure I don't screw anything up. Now we're going to the front view pane. I'm going to hit Alt W. Select the front view pane, select Alt W again. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to select the polygon tool. And we're going to click and drag across and get really close to that line. Don't go right on the line, you'll select over. Just get really close to it and release. Now we need to zoom in and make sure we got all the polygons because sometimes it doesn't select them all. So zoom really close and make sure you got all the ones on the left hand side and it looks like I did, it looks like I got real lucky here. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and check the, I'm going to go up here to where it says front, select that, and go select back, and I'm going to go up here and look again. Now that's the back side because this is a wireframe so we can see through, so I'm just going to look where it's dark red and start here, move down the line. Now every now and again when you do this you'll see something like this polygon won't be selected. You'd have to hold down control and click on it. it. Looks like I got really lucky here, but if I zoom way in, look right here. These two aren't selected. Whoops. Yeah, control Z, I don't want that. Select this and this. You have to get really close. Pay a lot of attention to the detail here because you could miss a polygon. You see those two? I was zoomed out and you could barely see that they weren't selected, so I zoomed way in. And now I'm just taking my time following up this line here to make sure I've got them all. If you miss a single one, you can go ahead and chalk that up to a bad day because you're going to have to start this whole thing over. So make sure you get them all. So it looks like I got them all. I was hoping that I had missed one or two so I could show you what I was talking about. Let's zoom out a bit and get closer down here and take a really close look. It looks like I got them all. So once you're certain that you have every polygon, even the little teeny tiny ones, which usually wind up, if you see a bunch of lines go into one area, it's a good indication that there's going to be a polygon or two that missed when you tried to select them all. Once you got all of them selected that you want, you can go ahead and uh, go back up here and set this, this back to front or hit F on your keyboard. And we're just going to delete them. So we're going to hit delete on our keyboard. Now we only have half of the mesh in our scene. So we want to mirror it. So in order to mirror it, first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and go over here and select vertex. 
Now if you notice, all the vertices along the line are red because we just had these polygons selected that we just deleted. So when we went to the vertexes, you'll notice all the vertexes along the line are red. These are blue. The ones along the line are red, and we want that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right-click on our screen, and we're going to select Move. Now you notice this number is not at zero. X in the front view pane always needs to be set to zero before you do a symmetry. So we're going to set this to zero. We're going to highlight everything in X. We're going to hit zero. We're going to hit Enter. Notice all those lines are now dead center there. Dead center in the X. They're all zero now. So now I can deselect them all. I don't need them selected anymore. I can drop this vertex off and go up here to my modifier pane. Drop this list down and I'm going to find symmetry. Once you find symmetry, go ahead and select that and whammo. Now it's a mirror on both sides. So now if I go uh, out of this pane here, by hitting Alt-W, select my perspective, hit Alt-W. If I go up here to Hidden Line, drop this down, hit Realistic, you'll notice that it's a mirror. Now sometimes you'll have stuff like this where the vertexes aren't exactly right. There's ways of correcting that. Obviously, whenever I did the symmetry, there was a vertex here that wasn't exactly right. So if I go back to Hidden Line, um, then I you know, select the object, select Edit Poly. Sometimes I can zoom in and try to figure out what went wrong which is usually best done from a you know a different window. I hit Alt-W, go up here. This is a touchy process. Like I said, if you miss one vertice, that was in the front. So I'm going to go around to the front, which is technically the back. It was in the front. It was somewhere in here. So in order to do this, I'm going to set wireframe. I'm going to go to realistic. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to symmetry. And it's showing it's this vertex right here. So it's right here. So I'm going to go back to edit poly. I'm going to go right in here. I'm going to select this vertex here. And I'm going to find out which one of these are not at zero. This one says it's at zero. How about this one? This one's at zero. This one's zero. First thing I'm going to do is check where they're at. And if that doesn't help you, sometimes you can take a vertex, you can zoom way in, and you can you know, move it close to another vertex. It's just one way to fix these kind of errors. And once you get them close, you select them both. And you go over here and you select Weld. Let's see if this fixes it. Uh, where's my weld at? It's down here some. There is a weld in here somewhere, a weld button. I can't seem to find it. Hmm. No weld. Oh, there it is. Weld. And edit vertices, select weld. And look, kind of got rid of it. So let's go ahead and check our symmetry again. That doesn't look too bad, but kind of can see some other stuff so maybe if we match up these two vertices here it'll get rid of it you just got to be tricky with this this is uh, apparently whenever I first uh, set this up I didn't get them just right so I'm gonna move this vertice up closer to that one and I'm gonna select that one so you have both selected then I'm gonna go down here and select weld again ah there we go now when I select symmetry perfect right so the front looks good now and I'll go up here and I'll select, uh, I'll just hit F on my keyboard, that'll take me back to the back. And the back lined up good. This may take a few times over to make sure, because if you miss one thing whenever you're doing this, you'll have those little things. Sometimes you can move vertices closer together. Um, or you don't have to use this mirror modifier if you don't want to. This is optional. I'm just showing you that there is a way to create a mirror. So you can change one side of the armor and the other side will automatically be changed. You know, we may play with mirrors later. If you don't want to do this mirror thing, you don't have to. It'll be really annoying because now you got to go back and do it all over again. Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's all part of the learning process. I just wanted to show you that this was possible, you know, and it's not like it's a big deal or just creating an undergarment. So you can go back and just make another undergarment if you screwed this up. So I'll select uh, Edit Poly. I just want to show you what's possible here, what this did, is if I select one vertice, and I go down here to Soft Selection, Use Soft Selection. Let's say I wanted this whole undergarment to be moved over more. Uh, you never want to move the ones in the middle, right? So never move these. So if you have that highlighted with Soft Selection, you want to go over here and maybe drop your Soft Selection down to where it does not move those. So let me see, four, yeah, it's jet blue. So now if I move this, Remember, you never want to move these or you're going to have problems. I go up to Symmetry. It's identical. That's the cool thing about Symmetry. Any changes I make to one side happen to the other side. And when I'm done making my changes, I would just right-click and you know convert to Polygon while Symmetry is selected. 
So I don't, I don't want that moved like that. I was just showing that you can match it. So now it's identical on both sides. I'm very happy with the fact that it's the same on both sides of the mesh. I'm not going to move anything. I was just showing you that you can. And I'm going to right click uh, anywhere on it. Go convert to editable poly. Now I'm happy with this. It's identical on both sides of the mesh. I need to get out of this front view pane. Hit Alt-W, come down here to Perspective. Hit Alt-W and then go to Realistic. And there we go. There's a uh, part of my undergarment. Now it gives me a good fold. This is a good way to get a fold on it. Uh, but I want to go ahead and move it closer to the body and kind of form it up here where it didn't overlap correctly. So again, that's all just a matter of no different than you'd move your cylinder parts. It's the same concept with moving cloth. So I just come in here, just select the undergarment, go to vertices, and from the side here, I'm going to turn my soft selection on just like we would with a cylinder. Set it to a comfortable number, something really low because it's a very small piece of the armor. Select all these vertices up here and just move it in. And now I'm just curving it. And I can go over here to the back and make sure I'm curving it correctly so it looks good. Again, good way to do this uh, when working with something like this is you uh, deselect the vertex, select the body, and freeze it. If yours isn't frozen, that way you can see a little better with what you're doing. The vertices in. And I just go ahead and maybe move them closer because they're not close enough still. This is just a matter of tweaking around here and forming your armor. So again, you are the potter. This is your clay. You'll probably have to watch this video here a couple of times. Uh, I had a few errors when I was running it and I had to figure out what I was doing wrong. I don't know why. My, my 3DS is being silly today for some reason. It was giving me issues. I finally got it working. I had to actually reboot. So you'll probably have to do these videos a few times because I had to piece them together. It was the only way I could get it to work. I need to move the front together. It's all correct though. All the steps are correct. You just got to follow them one after another. Hopefully they won't be too confusing. I did my best. <laughs> all right. I'm just forming my armor a little bit closer to the body, getting a better shape. Yeah, my undergarment. Now, this is nothing. I'm going to add a belt on it. This is just covering, you know, the um, uh, the the you-know-what area a little better. All right. There we go. I used cloth to create the undergarment, the good curve here. And these uh, using cloth to create the undergarment actually does really well for um, moving when you skin it because it has enough vertices to move well. Don't ask me why. It just does. All right. This is all about positioning. I'm just positioning some of my vertices to line up a little better. And it looks good. Happy with that. Now, at this point, I could smooth this out to get a better effect. Uh, but if I'm going to smooth it, the first thing I want to do is weld these vertices. So to do that, you would select all the vertexes. Uh, before you smooth it or do anything else, you always want to weld it if you're doing a symmetry. So I know it's identical on both sides. So I'm going to select all the vertices and uh, I'm going to deselect saw selection, drop that down, find uh, my edit vertices, I'm going to select weld and click this until that little, remember that little window will pop up? Well, normally it does. Apparently it's not going to here. So just weld the vertices a few times, select that, make sure they all welded. And now we're going to go ahead and smooth it. So I'm going to, from my edit poly, I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. So I'm going to smooth it and then hit 2. And I'm going to right click it and convert it to editable mesh. Actually, I should have converted it to an editable poly. Now, let's see, uh, let's see how many faces we have here. So I'm going to go to realistic and go to wireframe. Or, sorry, hidden line. It's easier to see. All right, that looks pretty good. It's very asymmetrical. The entire mesh is asymmetrical, so it's going to be easy to work with. If I want to move something, I can. Uh, it looks really good. Pretty happy with it. 